Zdravo ljudi, nadam se da ste super. In this video I'm going to show you the phrases which you can hear when you listen to Serbian people chat with each other. These are very common phrases and we use them either in everyday conversations or for example when we are exchanging text messages. Pa da počnemo. So let's start with the first example. Šta kažemo kada smo razočarani? What do we say when we are disappointed? For example, someone tells you uh, not so good news and you feel sorry for uh, what happened to them and you say, oh, what a pity or too bad. So in Serbian, this would be šteta. Šteta is a noun and in other contexts you might hear it uh, as with the meaning of damage but in conversational Serbian we use it to say oh too bad or what a pity you see that I wrote šteta in both Latin and Cyrillic script I did uh, this for all the expressions throughout the video so you can be exposed to both scripts so let's see an example of a conversation where you would respond with šteta Slomila sam ekran telefona juče. I broke the screen of my phone yesterday. And then you can respond with saying šteta or baš šteta. Um, so baš here is used as an emphasizer. It means, oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, that's such a pity. And uh, baš is the use that the word that we use a lot in Serbian and we have a blog post on our website devoted only to this word different contexts different meanings that it can have and I'm gonna link the blog post right below the video so you can access it, access it if you're interested but bash primarily is used when we really want to stress or emphasize something Sledeća situacija Šta kažemo? Kada smo zahvalni? What do we say when we are grateful? Zahvalan, grateful. U srpskom, kada smo zahvalni, kažemo hvala Bogu. Thank God. Na primer, operacija je prošla dobro. The operation went well. And then you can respond by saying hvala Bogu. Thank God. In Serbian, we have many expressions with the noun Bog, God. Uh, for example, Bogu iza nogu, far away. That means far away. Literally translated Bogu iza nogu means behind uh, God's legs. But we use it to say that something is very, very far away. For example, you can say um, To selo je Bogu iza nogu. That village is so far away. And in fact, in this video, we will have another expression with the noun a bog, uh, and it's very colloquial. It's just like this one. Hvala Bogu. Thank God. Kada smo nešto dugo čekali. When we have been waiting for something for a long time, in Serbian we say konačno. Finally. Na primer, Dobili smo vize za Ameriku. We got American visas. And then you can respond by saying yay, konačno, yay, finally. Konačno is uh, very commonly used in conversations in this kind of context. This is an adverb. It ends in o, like all the adverbs in Serbian language. And adverbs in Serbian are non-declinable words. So the good news is that regardless of the context, it, this word will always be the same. Kada pristajemo na dogovor, when we are agreeing to an arrangement, we can say okay, but we can also say other alternative responses. For example, naravno, dobro, može, dogovoreno, važi. 
So two of these, Može and Važi, Miljana also mentioned in her video uh, 30 survival phrases in Serbian language, which I'm going to link here so that you can um, access it uh, to review those phrases as well. So basically all of these more or less mean yeah, that's okay, that's fine with me, uh, sure, no problem, and so on. So let's see an example of how we can use those phrases. Vidimo se večera su sedam. See you tonight at seven o'clock. And then you can respond, dogovoreno. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and instead of this dogovoreno, you can literally use any of these phrases from this list. You can also say, naravno, Dobro, može, važi, and you can also simply respond, ok. Šta kažemo kada ne znamo nešto? What do we say when we don't know something? Kada ne znamo nešto, we can say, for example, nemam pojma, nemam predstavu, pitaj Boga. So, all of these three phrases are quite informal, uh, use them with your friends, but not, for example, in a professional context, not with people you don't know well. Um, they all mean, I have no idea, I have no clue. Uh, nemam pojma, pojam is a notion or a concept in Serbian. Uh, predstava, for example, uh, if you take that word out of the context, uh, predstava means uh, theater performance. And uh, Pite Boga literally translated is ask God. And as I mentioned before, we have many expressions using the noun Bog. And this is one of them. When you want to say I have no clue, you can say Pite Boga. So let's see an example of how these phrases of the situation where these phrases can be used. Na primer, gde je muzej? Where is the museum? And then if you don't know, you can say nemam pojma, I have no idea. Kada nešto nije problem, when something is not a problem, kada nešto nije problem, obično kažemo nema problema, no problem. This is the most common expression, it's neutral, you can use it in any context, but you can also say nema frke, this is informal expression, uh, and uh, in English we would translate it as no big deal. Uh, literal meaning of the word frka is fuss. You can also say nema veze, never mind, it doesn't matter. This is also neutral expression which you can use in any context. Let's see an example of a conversation where we would use uh, these expressions. For example, ne mogu da dođem na tvoju žurku, I can't come to your party. And then you can respond, nema problema, or nema veze, nema frke. So any of these expressions would be suitable for this context if these are two friends talking to each other. Još izraza koje koristimo kada nešto nije problem, more expressions that we use when something is not an issue. Naprimer, we say opušteno, relax, chill. Opušteno is really popular and you will hear Serbian people use it a lot. When someone is stressed out, we respond by saying opušteno, relax, everything is going to be okay. Or you can say nebrini, don't worry. Nebrini is uh, more neutral than opušteno. Opušteno is like really informal, so you should use it really with just friends and family. Nebrini you can use in different contexts, but because we have the verb here, brinuti, then if you're using it with friends, you put the verb in second person singular. This is imperative form. Nebrini, don't worry. But if you're speaking with your boss or, for example, someone you don't know well, then you would put the verb in second person plural and you would say nebrinite. The meaning is the same, don't worry. Hajde da vidimo primer. Let's see an example. Kasniću 10 minuta. I will be 10 minutes late. And then to this you can respond by saying opušteno. Don't worry, relax. Or you can say nebrini. Relax, don't worry. Both would be fine. If this is a person you don't know so well, then you would respond by saying nebrinite. Šta kažemo? Kada smo iznenađeni? 
What do we say when we are surprised? Iznenađen, surprised. Kada smo iznenađeni, kažemo, na primjer, svašta. Svašta is translated as I can't believe. Um, if you see this word in a different context, it can also mean everything or all kinds of things. Na primjer, išla sam u prodavnicu i svašta sam kupila. I went to the store and I bought all kinds of things. But in the context of everyday conversations and uh, especially if people say it with this intonation of surprise, then we translate it, uh, translate it as I can't believe. Svašta. I can't believe. Next is neverovatno. You can say neverovatno. Unbelievable. Uh, verovatno is an adverb that means probably. Neverovatno is the opposite of that adverb and is used in this context to suggest that something is unbelievable. Then we also use stvarno as an act of surprise. Really? Stvaran in Serbian is the adjective which means real. For example, stvaran svet, real world. And stvarno is an adverb and it means really. And the last one is really informal, just use it with friends. And it's zezaš, you must be kidding. Zezati is the verb that means to joke or to kid with someone. So uh, we use this with friends often when we can't believe what they're saying. Zezaš, like you must be kidding. Okay, so let's see an example for um, the situation when you would use these expressions. Na primer, Marko je dao otkaz. Marko quit. Dati otkaz in Serbian is to quit. Um, so this person was really surprised when it's something we didn't expect. And then we can say svašta. Uh, I can't believe. Unbelievable. Or, or you can use that emphasizer. Remember the word baš. And you can say baš svašta. I'm really surprised. I really can't believe. But any of these words would fit into this context as a response. You can also say neverovatno, stvarno, zezaš. So just again a reminder, use zezaš only with friends. I na kraju, and for the end, šta kažemo kada smo srećni zbog nekoga? What do we say when we are happy about someone else, about their success? Možemo da kažemo bravo, well done, bravo. Možemo da kažemo svaka čast, good job. Čast, the literal translation is honor. But in this expression, this is a very common expression, it's just like in English, good job, svaka čast. Or you can say čestitam, congratulations. Čestitam is the first person singular of the verb in present tense of the verb čestitati, to congratulate. If you are congratulating someone as a group, let's say as a team or as a family, then you can say čestitamo, we congratulate you. You would just put this verb in the first person plural. Ok, hajde sad da vidimo primer. Let's look at an example. And he says, kupili smo novi stan. We bought a new apartment. And then you can respond using any of these expressions. You can say, čestitam, congratulations. You can also say, svaka čast or bravo. To bi bilo sve za danas. Nadam se da vam je ovaj video bio koristan. If you liked it, please don't forget to click on like and subscribe to our channel. That would mean a lot to us. We also offer plenty of free content on other channels such as our Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And you can also check out our website for free study materials. There you will find also link to subscribe to our newsletter. We send newsletters twice a month and each newsletter contains reading texts, uh, grammar exercises, vocabulary exercises, all that you can do on your own because they also include a key. To je to. Nadam se da ste dobro i želim vam prijetan dan. Čujemo se i vidimo u nekom sledećem videu. Ćao!